<laughs> Dragon Ball Legends. Three years old. Can't believe I have to make a video about this again. Every single time I sit down and talk about this, it's like, Rhyme, let us have it. What do Legends do now? Dragon Ball Legends. You're not going to believe this. Dragon Ball Legends is having a fantastic anniversary. <laughs> you thought I was going to like clown the game? No, I cannot right now. The game is, is doing great. This, in my opinion, is how you do an anniversary. Everything they've been doing so far has been fun. Now, the reason why I decided to sit down and talk about this now is because there is still a part two that we don't know what it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be another banner. I know in games like Dokkan and other gacha games, they tend to do like a two-parter where they release another banner and it kind of like shocks all of us. I don't think they're going to do it in this case. I think what they're planning for part two is supposed to be special, unique around the anniversary and it's going to be revealed actually very, very soon. If you guys remember in reveals and stuff, they said that part two is going to be revealed sometime in June, which it already is. So probably, if I was to guess, Probably middle of June is where we can expect that at some point. But overall though, I think this has been fantastic. It's been fun. I mean, compare it. Remember last year? I still remember. I made a video last year during the second anniversary and I literally said, this just feels like a regular ass banner with a special sticker slapped on it. It doesn't feel that special. But this has been fun, you know? Like, number one, let's kind of look at the stuff that they've been doing. And by the way, before I get into it, I want to ask how you guys feel about the actual anniversary. So in the comment section below, let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And if you've been enjoying it so far as well, feel free, feel free to slap a like on the video. Now, I know there's going to be some people that are going to go into this and be absolutely livid with the anniversary just because you didn't get the new Sparkings or new LFs. And I completely understand that. Gacha games, unfortunately, are always basically tied to the new units. If you don't pull the new units, you're not going to have a good time. Remember uh, two years ago? Flashback. I'm so, I'm so defeated by this banner, man. You guys have seen the arc. You've seen the arc. And I swear, if I see a boo -on pop up on here, you're going to see a, a grown man cry. You're going to see one tear run down my face. Mm. I mean, honestly, I'm not even surprised at this point. That's literally what kept happening as I kept summoning. Watch me be another boo -on. Are you fucking kidding me right now? End of flashback. I will never stop talking about this. Two years ago, it took me 96,000 Chrono Crystals to get one copy of Super Vegito. I was not having a good time. <laughs> like, I was enjoying the content they were putting out. It was a pretty fun anniversary, but I was not having fun on that aspect of not being able to get Vegito, especially as a content creator that puts out Dragon Ball Legends content. But this has been good. But again, if you didn't get the units, the new ones, especially the LFs, I understand why you might not enjoy it. So feel free to just vent your stress down below. But overall, I want to kind of talk about the anniversary so far on this half. And then whenever we see that whatever the second half has for us, we'll do like an overall report card at some point. So also, if you want to give me your midterm report card down below as well, like greater on a, on a A, B, C, D, F scale, feel free to do so. But for now, I got to say, I, I got to give it like a high B plus, A minus, because I, I think every day we been doing is fun. For starters, let's look at the units. The units, by far, are some of the best and most fun units that they released in the game in a long time. I love how both Zamasu and Gogeta actually feel like very, very good units. They feel fun to use. To me, what's most important about whenever uh, Legend specifically drops a new unit is, is it fun to use? Yeah, you want it to be strong, but is it fun to use? If the answer is yes, then... The strong factor doesn't really matter because you can fill in those gaps with, you know, other units and specific teams. But overall, though, I feel like Vegito was annoying. Vegito last year was so annoying that he made the game incredibly not fun to play. And then they had to update the system back in, what was it, like September, October, where they had to update the entire battle system for Vegito to make sense. But until that point, Vegito was the most obnoxious character to come across in the game. To me, even above, like, Zenkai units, because, like... The thing is, the thing that made uh, Vegito annoying before they updated the system, in case you haven't played before then, is basically Vegito was able to farm Rising Rush. So the second you got combo of a Vegito and you, you tagged out one time, did a cover change, and the combo kept going, one of two things happens. Either one, you died of Vegito comboing you, or two, you switch out, and then you get Rising Rush for free because he was able to farm that up that fast. Vegito was actually broken for the system that was in this game. So it was scary going into it, like, thinking, like, what's going to happen? Gogeta? feels incredibly satisfying he's strong he's not too annoying and he fits as a unit as a unit that should be you know in the anniversary Zamasu as well I feel like Zamasu obviously is kind of the weaker choice but Zamasu also the gaps are filled in for him with all the different teams you can run them on I mean Future has been one of the strongest tags in the game pretty much 
since they <laughs> introduced it forever ago. So, like, you can fill in the gaps while Merge Zamasu lacks him. But even then, I still feel like he's actually very, very strong. He's got the degenerate green card where, you know, you can basically bait someone into just getting knocked back and then you can combo them. And Gogeta is just fun to use. I think he's just great. The animations are fun. And pulling off a legendary finish was just incredibly, incredibly satisfying. I played a bit less pvp over the course of the last couple weeks just because you know i just really wasn't enjoying the units that they were putting out and to be fair they were releasing stuff like andrew 17 and 18 who are not like amongst my favorite characters and the units were like kind of okay and then everything else had to drop in between it. and i get that they were basically preparing for the anniversary you don't want to drop crazy hype units prior to you know the anniversary like you want to kind of like get people excited for it and ready them up for it you know the last time i was super excited was when they dropped super saiyan 4 goku but even that was like short term like it was like very very short lived lived and then i kind of went back to just waiting for the anniversary these units are very satisfying i still feel weird that you know they went with nova and ice shenron as the other two sparking units i don't really consider them as how do i call them anniversary units but then again last year we also had trunks and zamasu which i felt like were weird choices you know it's like the odyssey when it comes down to it the main focus is always going to be the big shiny toys in which case we're talking about here is gogeta merge zamasu so whatever sparkles you put out along with that don't really matter end of the day what matters is is do they fit in a team are they gonna be fun to use are they strong and the answer is yes <laughs> to be fair I have not played with Ice and Nova yet, but I know enough about them on paper to know that they're actually pretty annoying units to deal with. They're not as busted as I initially thought they were going to be, but they still work really well in this meta, so I, I get it. Although, the question is, is would I have gone with the with the Shadow Dragon side? I honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. But at the same time, you also don't want the meta to be boring and then keep releasing Sands over and over again. So I get why. Like, had they dropped, like let's say Gogeta and then they sparking Goku and Vegeta, we would all be like, already another Goku Vegeta like this fast. So I, I get why they went with that route. I mean, really, the big focus on that banner is Gogeta. Whereas on the other one, they gave us Kefla. And then Vegito Blue. You can't spell Dragon Ball Anniversary in Dragon Ball Legends without Vegito Blue. That's facts. I think those were fantastic choices for Sparkings. You know, obviously with Merge Zamasu being the main focus, I don't know who else they can kind of go around with. And honestly, with them going with Kefla, Kefla kind of confused me. I was like, really? Kefla and Vegito? Like, that's who y'all chose? But again, they fit. You know, they're fantastic. They're fusion units. You can run them. I know. I see what they did there. I see what they did. Actually, now that I think about it. They gave us their fusion units. And then they put two fusion, new fusion characters in the other banner, which will basically make you want to summon on both banners. So let's be real. Going into this, we all went for Gogeta and Zamasu, right? Comment section below. What did you, what were you most excited for and why between Gogeta and Merge Zamasu? And then give me like your explanation about it. Because I feel like the way I see it is, is they gave us Merge Zamasu, but they knew he's not as exciting as Gogeta. And then they probably threw in two, two fusions to go along with it. That way you have reason to summon on both banners. So that's my theory. But overall, though, they're, they're both very, very good. I know Kefla is like, kind of weird to use at first. She's basically hard. She's not easy. And, and then Vegito is just a good unit. I mean, again, I've never seen a game drop a Vegito in the Dragon Ball universe that wasn't good. So, like, <laughs> like that was a no-brainer. But overall, though, I got to give them an a, a automatic A. A-plus for the unit choices. We also got a couple EX units, which, which I haven't played with. You know, we got Gotenks. Again, another fusion units. We got Goku Black. We got 17, and he also got Baby. I have not tried any of the EX units. I think uh, Goresh has made a bunch of videos on them. So, if you want to go check them out, go over there. But uh, for EX units, it's kind of like whatever. Really, like I said, the, the main focus is always going to be the shiny new toy, in which case this we're talking about Merge Zamasu and, and uh, Gogeta. I still cannot stand the fact that double LF banners exist. I hope at some point, like, let's, because we know Ultras are going to be summer at some point, and I'm still terrified of that day. I feel like Ultras will be making or breaking for the game. They're either going to kill the game in regards to how, like, fun the game is going to be, or they're going to make the game that much more fun. And what I mean by that is, for example, if Ultras end up coming out and they end up being a worse pull rate than LFs, that's literally going to kill the game, in my opinion. It's going to make it just so unfun to summon but it's kind of like a gift and a curse the gift is going to be if you end up doing a summon and you end up getting an ultra you know you know how exciting that's going to be it's going to be hype it's like knowing that you just beat the odds but still like i feel like overall though the average player would not have a good time with that i don't know how any mechanic can be built around that where it's good like yeah you can get lucky every now, every now and then and pull an ultra like let's say if it ends up being like 0.001 percent but still like it's going to be not fun now in the perfect world what they could do is and this is something that i would just do just prepare for the future is Make LFs 1% pull rates. Regular Sparkers can be 2%, which is basically double than what it is now. Because I think right now Sparkers are like 1%, and then LFs we know are 0.5. So basically make LFs 1%, and then then it's I think it'll be okay to have ultras be like 0.5 or something like that. Basically like passing the torch on. 
Because then it's like they're still rare and they're special to the game. But again, that's that's a whole other thing we have to worry about for at least a year, which is I'm happy about. The events could have been a bit better. This is kind of why I'm like leaning bef between an A minus and a B plus. I do love the fact that we're getting the the weekly raid. You know, we just got done with the first raid, and I believe they said they're gonna have was a four or five over the course of the anniversary, and you just get so many different rewards with that. I I love that. I don't know if I already mentioned it because I talked so much about the summons. I love the hoi poi summons. You know. Just because you can get erasers, I still cannot stand the reroll rates. And the amount of times I've literally like whined to Toshi and the team about how awful the reroll system in this game is, hoping that they'll fix it by potentially the anniversary. And here we are still with the same system. Uh, I, I love the fact that they have this because at least you can get some more erasers and then kind of work on rerolling and stuff like that. And I want this to stay. I want them to make, make, basically expand more on this to make it more fun over the course of the future because any way you can give us, let us basically play the game while allowing us to still grind the items, I think is a win. So that's dope to me. Finally, we also got the Dragon Ball Hunt. So far, I already got two. Comment section below. Let me know how many you have at the time you watching this video. And I love the fact that they made it easier to scan codes because the thing that was annoying last year was like, you have to like get your friends to screenshot it. They send you the code. They have to be your friends first uh, foremost. And then you got to take a photo of, of a screen. It was obnoxious. Just a suggestion for next time, don't make the codes expire so fast. Because sometimes I'll like DM my friends my my screenshot of my code, and then they'll deal me, deal me back hours later, and I'll forget, and I come back, and I notice that the code expired, and that's annoying. But so far, it hasn't been like the biggest issue. But stuff like this is fun, because again, it, it allows you to like hunt for Shenron, and then once a year, we actually get to summon him and make a witch, and I think that's an absolutely fantastic mechanic. Like, I want to see that keep coming back and stuff like that. Anything else that I'm missing? I think I'm pretty much covering all the main stuff. So far, like I said, compared to last year's, it absolutely blows year two out of the water. Like, 100% blows it out of the water. Oh, yeah, I also can't forget the Gokus that did drop. I mentioned this last time when we talked about this. Fantastic idea. Fa give us more of these. Absolutely give us more of these. Comment section below. If you can choose the next free-to-play units to be released in the game, who would you want and why? Let me know down below. I gotta go with Beerus, because we hadn't had a Beerus since... LF Beerus? <laughs> For love of God, we need a new Beerus. Hakai Beerus, one day, Legends team, please. Give us the Hakai Beerus. But outside that... The second option I would probably choose is LOE because LOE has just been... LOE is just struggling right now, is all I can say. But overall, let me know your thoughts down below, how you felt about the anniversary so far, what you want to see potentially change, and I'll make sure the team sees all the comments and stuff like that so they can like put it into feedback for next year's anniversary. So yeah, uh, give me give me your worst, your best, any stories you want to share. You, you know how this works. It's not my first time doing the video. So yeah. That said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Gogeta video tomorrow, actually. Uh, I know that they're dropping Gogeta tonight. I'm probably going to Zenkai in frame one because this is one of those rare times where I am going to Zenkai in because I'm running Fusion right now. So expect a Zenkai video either. Honestly, I might drop it before this video. But if you're watching this video first, expect the Gogeta video tomorrow at some point, the usual time. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.